Ooh, what is up guys, of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with your drill course, the Scarander. And this time, it's of course the semi-finals in the LBA, or the semi-finals in our division at least. And we're going against Matt again, we actually went against him basically two and a half months ago. And uh, that game was pretty darn close, sadly it was cut short due to a very very late game crit that may matter more than I want to give it credit for. And I'm glad I get the chance to battle him again because I really want a fair game where, well, let's face it as it is, he really plays really good. He is very good at to keep momentum, not losing up. And for a player like me who actually likes to steal momentum, this is quite hard to deal with. And it isn't really helping that his team is actually somewhat fast uh, with a lot of hard hitters. And Jardos is just a threat for me. And this time out of, of course, the Tangrove, Tentacruel, and Charizard X, which actually was standing quite tall against his team. And feeling out of, being out of those is making his team somewhat more dangerous, but at the same time, I'll do my very best to keep up. Uh, I am using a Leftovers Thunderous at the last time, basically, with the Thunderbolt, Kingdom Power Ice, knockoff this time uh, for his Raikou, which was Assault West last time I faced it, and Thunder Wave in case Jardos gets scary. Uh, Stoutland, uh, standard band set with, of course, Facade this time. In case I get burned by either Mew or Confergus, I felt that that was a very, very likely possibility, and I need Confergus out of the way to sweep properly, and I have enough uh, defensive investment to make sure that Mag Punch do not KO me from 60%. Uh, Trinitar, uh, relaxed, standard, max in defense and HP. Super, super Wally. Uh, was supposed to have Crunch, has Earthquake, so <clears throat> screwed up on that one. But outside of that, it has cr uh, not crunch, and it's Stone Edge. <laughs> it's, it's Quake with Flame Thrower and Ice Beam because he has a Glee Score and he has Fretress. And I felt those two um, can be dealt with somewhat with Tyranitar. It's not ideal, but at least I got it. Rose Raid, Scoff Set. And um, it is enough speed to outspeed a plus one Jardos. Leaf Storm kills it uh, if it may have volumes. Actually, Rose Raid kills most of his team, actually because the Rose Raid is an extremely dangerous mon and having that thing Scarf solves a few things for me and it has a Dazzling Gleam, a Shadow Ball, a Lee Storm and Sludge Bomb because he has Tokis, so I'll speed that one too, being Scarf and all. Then we have Keldeo, Scarf set, uh, enough speed to outspeed, uh, what was that, do you believe outspeed Mew? So it's a modest set which is basically just here to wreak havoc Skull, Hydro Pump, Toxic on it actually, and Sacred Sword, uh, Secret, that's uh, Sacred, Secret, it's a Secret Sword, damn it, I'm doing this again, and, uh, and Guard of War with uh, Thunderbolt, uh, because that was the only neutral move I can either against Fortress, I didn't want to have him in part fire, because that would be kind of scary if I actually make my opponent set up like that, uh, and we have Moonblast, Psy Shock, and of course, and I think the most important move, Healing Wish. In case things aren't working, we can get back on it. So, with all of that said, let's go into the game. So I predicted everything outside of Conqueror for a lead. Obviously Conqueror is a superior choice, but at this point I was just like, ah, let's go for damage. He, he won't go for an Ice Punch, and even if he does, it, it will not kill me. Uh, so yeah, he goes for knockoff, and of course it does a massive amount of damage. Luckily for me though, he does decide to switch out. I decided to go for knockoff here myself, seeing that it was probably extremely likely for him of bringing Raikou here, and I get to assault this out of the way, which is important because that means that hopefully that Keldeo can actually spam Skulls now because that means pretty much that things are slightly easier. We still have Jaros to deal with, but that's about it. So I gotta go to Wrathgale, predicting either Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, or in the worst case, Hidden Power uh, Ice. Because uh, I, I do take them, it doesn't necessarily live them, but I can take them, and Leaf Storm kills the Raikou. So he goes for Volt Switch, that's fine, going to Dr. J, which is uh, this guy, and uh, being that I don't really want to risk a possible Psychic, I decided to switch in Brex. I really didn't want to set up the Sandstorm, I'm like not even joking there, like the Sandstorm is my enemy at this point, it's too early. Uh, he goes with some headbutts showing me that he's physical, so that's nice. And here's where I come into that kind of dark area where I realize, alright, I don't have Crunch, I screwed up. But I was thinking, alright, let's go for Stone Edge, he, he might as well think that um, I'm able to pursue trap him, and he's gonna show me Will O Wisp. So at this point, alright, it is defensive. It's unfortunate that he missed, I, I will give him that. But at the same time, due to my trans are being somewhat of uh, meh in this game when it comes to offensive presence, it didn't really matter that much. So seeing that I'm probably gonna go for Will O Wisp again, I am gonna go to Guard War, 
Phrase to synchronize and then send the will o -Wisp back at him because it's very likely that it probably only has uh, the likes of Sen Hit Button, possibly Dream Punch in worst case scenario. So there's a Willow, and yeah, I'm not particularly fond of having Lisa burned, but at the same time, if I can score a burn back, then you know that's right. Uh, so so it's, it's a synchronization board there, and of course, you know, we do a lot of damage against one another. And I decide here to think that, alright, he is very likely to switch out. This is not a matchup we want to stay in. For Etris, it's a very, very safe switching for him. So I decided to go for Thunderbolt. Mind you guys, a Moonblast at this point does roughly 40%, 40-50% basically. So Moonblast would have been close to kill him. So going for Thunderbolt here and he stays in. Yeah, that that's bad. That's like really bad. Because that means that I really can't do anything. And um, I am forced to... Um, switch out to something else, but again, I get a feeling he can't really hurt me, and um, I'm predicting that it's very likely to go for another roost, or that he'll switch out completely. So Stoutland is a smart choice here, I don't really have that much Sandstorm left, and getting Stoutland in here would force him to bring Confergus in, or at least so I thought. I'm very, very comfortable of spamming Crunch. And then again, you know, Jarlos can come in in that situation too, of course. Uh, so Fulf is gonna come in, like I said, it's probably my best choice here. He's gonna switch out, luckily for me. Um, and gonna go to Raikou. And Raikou, of course, is dead by the Fulf with this matchup. It is not taking a crunch. The crunch kills it dead at this point. And I think my opponent knows that, and he's definitely gonna switch out to Confericus. Like I said there, I really want to Confericus in, because with Crunch and Sandstorm, I should be able to do it care with. Uh, my max damage output with Crunch is 48%, so it looks like that's about what I do there. And of course the mummy is going to kick in, so I don't get a defense drop here, which would help out. But like I said, the, um, uh, sorry, the, the sand will push him where I have a 30% chance of KOing him, so I felt pretty comfortable here. And I go for second Crunch, and uh, I do get a crit. I do get a crit, so we don't, like I said, the roll was definitely in his favor, so that is a bit unfortunate for my opponent, because I did actually get to know later on that he actually went for Trick Room, and not a Will-O-Wisp, uh, which I was baiting for, because I have Facade and all. Uh, so anyway, Alonso is going to come in here, and I was thinking, alright, the rock's going to come up, I either, I either go for Crunch, break a party 30, or I go to our class and trying to get, of course, as much damage as possible. Now, the issue with this is, of course, that he still has the Raikou. Like, I still can't really hurt him. And this situation just isn't particularly good for me. Uh, so I should definitely have seen a one come in and switch out again to hopefully Tyranitar. But instead, I'm forced to stay in here. And as you guys can see, this Raikou is simply walling my Thunderous. I mean, Thunderbolt now does a good chunk of damage. But since Raikou is faster, I can't really stay in. I should say my Thunderous is modest too, that's why I do so much damage. Uh, so I gotta go to Rex here, just basically scout whether or not he had, had uh, Hidden Power Ice. Or if he's gonna go Volt Switch, I'm fine either way. I do get to set up to Storm Sand again, and that's really all I need. And he goes for Hidden Power, and that's Hidden Power Ice, and that means that he doesn't have Aura Sphere. And that also means that he, he's toast in this matchup, he can't really win. And this is where I kind of feel bad I don't have Pursuit nor Crunch, because they would be overall the better choice. Now, my opponent will switch out to his Confagrigus, and I went for a Stone Edge. Should probably gone for it quick. should probably have done that. Uh, I was thinking Jaro is very likely to come in, but at the same time, this guy just is so tough to deal with. And uh, I really, really, really can't stand against this. I really can't. Even if I'm faster, he still has Mock Punch, so I have to sack my Thunderous, and this is bad, this is extremely bad, mostly because this means that um, I now can't really stop my, or his uh, uh, Jardos as efficiently, I'm simply out of options when it comes to this situation, I knew that, I knew that from the get-go, so I gotta go to Selfius, Selfius is probably my only good mon against this, because he can take a Mag Punch quite well and can retaliate really hard, so he switches out to Dr. J, of course, the Mew, and the Mew does not take two skulls. It simply does not. Like I said, I am modest this time. Had I been timid, things might have been different, but I'm modest and I have enough speed. I'm actually a pretty darn slow Kelio. Like, I have enough speed to, I do believe, beat Gliscor. I think that's about it. Uh, I, that's what I settled for. Like, a jolly Gliscor, and of course, being Scarf. Basically, if he was running something weird. So, I'm not. If, if, if his Mew was Scarf then I would not have been able to outspeed is what I'm trying to say. Um, 
I, I just needed the damage output and I think I got it. I think I got just about that. So he's gonna go to Dennis Rodman, being of course Jardos. And I knew exactly this point that or I knew that he knew that I was scarfed. So I had to switch out. I had to go for Rose Raid. Hoping that he went for a Dragon Dance here. Leaf Storm, like I said, it does a good chunk of damage on him. It really, really does. And he's not forced to Mega Vault, but he can't lose to Gyarados and not Mega Vault. So knowing that, uh, I went for Leaf Storm here head on it because I needed the damage. Because like I said, I'm still faster after one uh, Dragon Dance. So Leaf Storm, massive damage. Massive. It's simply marvelous. And he goes for Ice Fang and that's Rose Raid out of the way. But Rose Raid did exactly what I wanted her to do. And I'm glad for that because that forced him to not go for another Dragon Dance. And that also means that Keldio is faster. And uh, I I'm gonna say this. I should not have gone for a Skull at this position. Skull is actually not enough to kill him. I, like I said, I am modest. I'm like the, the boom heavy hitter. But no, Skull is not able to kill a Gyarados from this range. It is resistant all, I'm not gonna get that. But still, how? How am I not able to? <laughs> So, luckily for me, he doesn't have Earthquake, he doesn't have any move that can possibly hit me hard enough. But Waterfall will still do a lot of damage on me, and so would, of course, Crunch have done. Waterfall, of course, being slightly stronger at this point. But yeah, it definitely forces down Keldeo to a range where Mach Punch now takes him out. So, um, I am now not able to deal with Conqueror with Keldeo. Hell, no of my Mons are able to deal with uh, this freaking beast of a Mon. And uh, I won't deny this though, I'm pretty surprised I didn't see this one coming and didn't go for Drain Punch. That would probably have solved everything, and I mean everything. I should also say this, due to that my Stoutland is somewhat whittled down, I can't now, and due to of course Rock Spin up, I can't now take a Mock Punch with Stoutland. And that also sucks, because that means that my three mods being Guard War, Keldeo, and Stoutland are a bit of a picky, and he just survived a Sandstorm, I was like, no! This guy's gonna kill me! This guy's gonna kill me so hard! So, I have to go for Healing Wish here. I was thinking I could go, you know, for Thunderbolt, trying to get something out of there, but it's just not worth it. Uh, I'm still in a losing position, and I need to get my Keldeo healthy. Uh, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna do the only thing I should have done from the get-go, and that is Healing Wish to uh, my monster that is uh, um, Keldeo. Had he stayed in with his Conkeldur, I would probably switch down Stoutland instead, because that would mean the Sandstorm would have taken out the Conkeldur. But he's smart, he knows Conk can wrap the game up from here, if I don't do something like this. And this pretty much settles it, this pretty much makes sure that we got this game in the bag, because we are fast in Raikou, because we are Scarfed. And this was an issue I didn't really was able to deal with in, our, in the first matchup we had. Uh, in the beginning of this season, so I finally, you know, I learned from my mistake, I learned that Raikou was a force to be reckoned with, and uh, Shaq Diesel is, well, which actually fell kind of hard in our previous game, became the most massive mon of Abel have been forced to deal with, and I barely, barely survived it. That freaking conk is invincible, uh, I won't even deny that. So the last matchup is for Etres, and I was really scared here that he might be Custa Berry, uh, Custa Berry Explosion. That would probably wrap the game up real nicely for him. But uh, I remember that Volt Switch doesn't take me out, Jar Ball doesn't take me out, and I would my Skull will force me to cast up range if that's the case. But that also means that Stoutland can still wrap things up with the likes of Superpower. So yeah, you know whatever happens, I'll still win. But this definitely came down to the wire. So yeah, I mean, I really need to, of course, actually go through um, the unfortunate crit there with, of course, Stoutlin. Because I'm pretty sure had Matt pulled off that trick room, it would have been a game of chance where I'm not pretty sure I would have came out on top. I mean, if he would have pulled off, of course, the trick room, that would have meant that Conkeldur would probably have killed a few mons of mine. Most certainly, really. I really don't see a situation where I came out on top of there. So, having that said, it's actually really unfortunate it turns out the way it did, because we don't get to find out how effective that would have been against me, and I say it would be extremely effective. I would have been forced to play the likes of Thunder Wave with Thunders, and then leave it to the game of chance till the Trick Room is over, 
And as you guys see, that my team only had two mods left at the end, so it's very, very unlikely I would be able to pull that off. Uh, Kelly was a massive, of course, help this game, and so was Rose Raid. Killing the Jardos, like, in a simple way, was probably the first time I was able to do just so. Jardos been a massive mod for me to deal with, and last time it got the best of me. This time we forced it to Mega Ball, it's actually the first time we see it this season, and we actually get the chance to take it down. Um, had it gone from the Dragon Dance against Rose Raid, it would have been faster next turn to take me out, but it wouldn't have been able to kill the Kelio, uh, which is good to know, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure he would have been you know, in the area where it definitely could have taken out my uh, uh, my Kelio anyway with that waterfall. Um, seen the damage afterwards, but you know, it turned out the way it did, and it was a really close game. I don't think there was too many hacks outside of my crit there against Conquerigos. I do believe that matters. Like I said, the rolls was not in my favor, and it's very likely that Conqueror would have been able to break apart my team at that point. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, we are now in the division final, which is something I did not expect. Uh, with of course the season start and all, I really, I really haven't been playing as well as I used to, and um, I don't know what it is. I just a feeling hasn't been right. But these last games when I changed the team and gave up on Charizard X and stuff like that, uh, it came back to me like that feeling of you know the bigger prediction, the massive damage outputs. And while my team is by the book a weaker team now due to that. Switch, losing Tangrowth, losing Tentacruel, losing Charizard. That makes my team extremely weak, but I got the mons that are slightly more in the what I need to make this team work. And Rose Raid has shown to be a massive threat for a lot of teams here. So I'm really glad I brought her in. And um, yeah, outside of that, I mean, using the sand again as effective as I can has been extremely helpful. Um, it really has been a shift, and uh, I hope I can maintain this. I'm really glad things have turned out the way they did, and uh, I hope I can continue showing you guys what I'm all about. Um, so yeah, you know, ob obviously with all that said, um, I hope that the division final be will be just as close as this one. And uh, yeah, hell, we're we're doing well. We're doing well in playoff. I don't know why. why... Uh, Why well, I screw up before that. <laughs> anyway, guys, you know, thank you so much for watching. Um, I have a lot of prep to do. My next opponent is just one of those really, really tough ones. But is against Grail, or of course, the Pori Blazikuns. So, another Scandinavian from Finland. I need to beat him. I really do. Somehow. Okay, guys, enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.